Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. So we're doing this video on a, this is a 2014, I believe a 2014 Honda Accord. And we're doing this video on the mass airflow sensor, uh, what the issues are and how you guys can replace it or fix the problem you guys have. Now, if you guys have an issue caused by the mass airflow sensor itself, a lot of times you could get a check engine like specifically for the mass airflow sensor however um, that does not happen all the time and funny enough it doesn't happen often a lot of people do get issues with the mass airflow sensor causing the issues in the vehicles and they don't get a check engine light so if you run into this situation um, where your vehicle is either running rough or it's stalling out on you or or you get a misfire, or um, you're not getting a lot of power, you start it up, it cranks, and then it cranks and cranks and cranks before it starts, and then it cranks, and then it starts, and then it dies suddenly. You guys might want to look at the mass airflow sensor. That might be the first thing you guys might want to check out because it's actually the easiest thing for most vehicles, particularly for this one, to get to, to take off, to unplug to take off there's normally two bolts this is two phillips bolts on this very 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 simple um just push the little plug the plug comes off take the two phillips bolts off and the mass airflow sensor comes out now once you got once you have the mass airflow sensor out you could clean it you, they have a mass airflow sensor spray you could spray it um there's a little part that heats up spray that part pop it back in and see if it runs okay now a lot of times you might want to do this because well um autozone advanced auto um any of those uh auto parts stores they kind of know that you're probably in a situation where you need to get your car running right as soon as possible and this is one of those things that would cause could cause your vehicle issues and if you pop it in it'll run right as soon as possible so they overcharge for it maybe by i don't know six seven times the cost of the sensor um over what you can get from ebay and amazon like most of these sensors are like 20 bucks 30 bucks at most um you go to autozone advance auto they're selling for like 120 140 150 or somewhere around there um it's a total rip off but um you get it fast and you can pop it in but good thing about AutoZone is uh they have a great um they have a great return policy advanced auto doesn't have a good return policy so kind of depends how how much you think that your situation is caused by the mass airflow sensor um a lot of times you can actually check to see if there's an issue if it's really dirty definitely clean it it'll probably be your best bet as far as um, getting that situation sorted out or uh, disqualifying it from um, the things that could be causing the situation. A lot of these situations that are caused uh, that are caused by the mass airflow sensor is uh, could be caused by a bunch of other things: uh, vacuum leak, dirty throttle body, uh, throttle body position sensor, throttle position sensor that has issues um coils and stuff like that and if you guys have those other ish you guys have those uh, issues and it's not your mass airflow sensor you might want to just check those out particularly if you get a check engine light um if you get a check engine light for like specific codes definitely look at that but uh let me end this video by saying that this is possibly one of the easiest um, things you guys can do as far as mechanically speaking trying to help your situation out two bolts unplug it pop it out clean it pop it back in two bolts plug it in and um see if that actually helps out your situation if you guys have any questions definitely like leave a question in the comment section please subscribe please give me a thumbs up all that good stuff appreciate your time guys take care